Hooray! <laughs> All right. Okay, guys. Um. Well. <sighs> little notation in this video about the ultimate VSH menu or whatever. PS3 controller broken. Needs to be recalibrated. I'm gonna look into it today, and I'm gonna find out how to do it. Cause I know you can recalibrate something. Um, if it's fried, then I'm screwed. But I'm pretty sure it just needs to be recalibrated for some reason. So I'm gonna figure that out. Um, but this video is for your PlayStation Portable running on custom firmware, 5.50 um, uh, custom firmware. It has to be on. Um, this is the ultimate VSH menu uh, plugin for the PSP. It's an SE plugin. So you're going to need the PRX file, and you're also going to need a um, text document for uh, VS that says uh, VSH, and um, inside needs to be written a certain password, or I guess you can call it a password, or um, it's more of a transcode than a password, I guess you could say, because um, what you type is going to vary on where it gets picked up in your recovery menu underneath the plugins. So other than that, um, Let's get to it. So, let's go. All right, so here we are at the PSP. Scrolling over to system settings and system information, you will see that I'm running on 5.50 Gen D3. This is the fixed version. I have a video on that if you need the fixed version still. But all you're gonna do is simply connect the USB cable to your PSP after confirming your firmware and come to the computer. All right, so the file I'm gonna have you download is right here. It's called Ultimate VSH Menu revised.rar if you don't have an extraction program right click on it and say extract all to wherever you choose if you do that's great so just double click on it and open it up all right so now that that's open um, inside you will see an se plugins folder Double click on that folder and open that up. Inside you're going to see a VSH text and a VSH menu.prx. Leave it at that and go to my computer. So double click on my computer to open that up or just open up my computer through the start menu, whatever way you want to do it, I don't care. And open up the removable drive for your PSP and you're going to access the root of the PSP's memory stick. Now, create a folder all in lowercase letters called SE Plugins. After creating that folder, by right clicking and selecting new folder, you will see, in, well yours is going to be empty, or if you already have this you'll have some, but these PRX files are the SC plugins, and the text documents are the transcodes so that they come up in your SC plugins menu. So basically what you're going to do is take the VSH menu PRX from your, um, uh, your extraction program and drag and drop it into the PSP's memory stick. Now I already done that but I'm just going to rewrite the file to show you that this is the same file and does work. Now the VSH text inside the extraction program. Inside the SC plugins folder on the memory stick you're going to right click and create a new text document if you haven't already. Where the hell is mine? Oh there it is. Called VSH.txt. It can be capital, it can be lowercase, it doesn't matter. But you're going to either already use the one you have or you're just going to right click and say new text document and rename it vsh.txt and open that up. Now, if you have a uh, if you don't have a vsh text document, just take this one that I give you and drag and drop that into the memory stick. If not and you already have one, double click on the vsh text in your extracted files and inside you're going to see this written ms0 colons forward slash se plug plugins forward slash vsh menu dot prx space one all you're going to do is simply highlight all of that right click and copy and go to the vsh text document on your memory stick and right click and paste and you will see written in here ms0 colon forward slash se plugins forward slash vsh menu dot prx space one Make sure that that is written in vsh.txt on your PSP's memory stick in the SE plugins folder off the memory stick root. And you're done. So verification, you will see the vsh menu.prx and you will see the vsh text document written in it. 
what I just said and basically exit that. You can exit this, get this out of here and come back to the PSP. All right, so back at the PSP, we're gonna exit USB mode. Now, hold your power button up until the whole system shuts down and the power light stops flashing. Now, hold the R trigger down and turn the power back on and you will come to the recovery menu. Now, scroll down to you see plugins, which is like right there. Hit X on that and you're gonna look for VSH menu.prx in brackets VSH. Enable it, which it should already be enabled because of the 5.50 firmware and go back hit exit and your system will reboot and then hit select and you will have your ultimate VSH menu like that and this basically adds um, the USB charge hide MAC address hide UMD update a screenshot select button you can either choose the VSH menu or the recovery menu. Random color for your VSH menu. You can convert the battery. You can also ISO video mount. None. Well, that's only if you plug in a camera. Shut down device, suspend device, reboot device, recovery menu, load eboot, and exit. The load eboot will give a list of every eboot that you have on your system. And um, the suspend device is basically a hibernation. So, yeah. That's about it. So that's how you install your ultimate VSH menu for your PSP running on custom firmware 5.50, whether it be U3R, MHU, or Gen. Um, I will have the link provided for download next to this video underneath more information. So don't worry, you'll get the same files that I have. Um, but other than that, that's about it. So if you got any questions, send me a message, leave me a comment. I'll be happy to reply. If you have any recommendations for any other videos, just leave a comment on my channel page, and most likely I will make that video for you. Um, and other than that, just subscribe to stay up to date with more videos to come. I'm on vacation this week and I plan to get a lot done. So yeah, other than that, take it easy guys and I'll talk to you later.